Lil Mo motherfucking films, nigga. What's up, man? It's Lil Mo Films, man. Hey, we got a little special guest in the building today, man. From Brainerd alumni. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what's up, dog. Yeah, what's up, man? It's Michael Caldwell. Hey, check my cleaning service out, man. Caldwell Cleaning Solution. Hit me up, man. 423-385-0923, man. That's what it is, man. Hit me up. Good quality cleaner. That's what's up, man. What, what made you want to get into that? Oh, man. Tell you the truth, man. Oh. When I was in prison, man, I did five years in prison, so uh, we used to have to uh, clean the warden's office and stuff like that, or, you know what I'm saying, just doing little, little, little stuff like that in prison. So I was like, man, if I can do it for free, man, I can, you know what I'm saying, make a living out of doing it, you know. So, man, I, and I'm a clean person myself. So, that being said, man, I just opened up a business. Too, so you man. did you did five years in prison, bro? Already, yeah. What, uh, what you, damn, how you, how you, what, how, man, what you, how you do that? <laughs> Man, uh, man, I was trafficking cocaine, you know, uh, just doing, doing naive stuff, but just going for what I know, really, you know, really, uh, really was a grandmama's boy, so <laughs> everybody wonder why that, this, that, and the other, but they, they ain't know what was going on, so, you know, I just took it and ran with it, as far as, like, making money, I was in a small town, and uh, the money was good, you know what I mean, I was going to school, going to college and uh shout out tc tuscan university now but uh yeah that's what's uh, up man so it's like uh you saw her you, you was going to college uh you was playing you played football you played sport you played ball nigga. right 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 you know, yeah you you know i went to Titan. you know uh, what i'm saying right, so man, we had a lot of battles you just thump on y'all yeah hey, hey it was, it's all good you, back and forth you was in the good year you you, you was in the good class yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. It's I mean, all good. When I, when I but tell them about that though, man. Like how it is like being a, uh, cause we got a lot of up and coming young athletes and shit. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like just to name a few, like uh, one of my favorites is uh, Lil Boo Henderson. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like he on the ride. We got we got a bunch of them though. I ain't gonna get into naming kids yeah, and yeah, shit. Think, but uh, well, shout out to Boo Henderson, man. He yeah. do a good job with his kids, man. Keeping them, uh, you know, doing what fathers really supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Monitoring the kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Making sure they're getting the best of business that they. Uh, they doing and uh i mean you know like look, to go back on your question though i mean it's easy to get in trouble man but it's hard to get out of that's all i'm gonna say about that you feel me so i mean you got a kid coming from chattanooga you know what i mean small town really then you're going to a smaller town and then you getting money that you ain't never seen before you, your parents ain't around so i mean you start doing naive stuff that you you know you see back in your hometown, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was on that end. Mm-hmm. So you say, um, so you would say you had a pretty good foundation, you just kind of fumbled a little bit. I ain't yeah. I, I came up on a good foundation, man. I mean, everybody uh like they said it take a uh, a lot of people to raise one child, man, and then I had a good support system back in the day, so I can't even say that I didn't, you know. So but it's all about who you are, you know what I'm saying? And I was probably Back then, I was trying to find myself. I ain't, you know, I was playing football. I was doing great, you know what I mean? But at the same time, uh, I mean, when you get money like that and you ain't never had money like that, you know, you start to tend to uh, go other, way, other places, uh, you know? So that's what it is. Shit, there, like, everybody, there, that's growing pains right there. Everybody's oh, yeah, done been do through it. that. So, shit, man, if you can give, like, any advice, man, to the to the next generation, uh, to some kids out there, you know what I'm saying, that's playing athletes, but that's growing up in this environment, you feel me? Like, you know, a lot of people don't know how hard it is to get the maneuver through these some of these environments our kids come through, you know what I'm saying? What kind of advice would you give them? I mean, you know, just, just, just stay focused. Number one thing, you know, keep what you believe in first, you know. I know uh, when I was in school, I, I believed in God, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I still do. So, I mean, if you believe in God, man, you know, or uh, whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in, just stay with it and, uh, you know, just don't get discouraged and just stay on the right track, really, man. It's hard to stay on the right track, but uh, at the same time, uh, you got to go with what you know as far as, like, what your, what your parents taught you, you know what I'm saying, the uh, intangibles in life, you know what I'm saying, as you go to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a big thing. Uh, people, my my generation, we ain't had that that uh 
that father figure, you know what I'm saying, uh, that showed us, you know, the intangibles of being a man. So we had to really grow up on our own, you know. So, I mean, I know it's a lot of kids that, you know what I'm saying, especially my age, that, that ain't had no father. So, I mean, I know it's hard to be a father, and I know it, it's hard to be a mother, man. But uh, shout out to the moms, man. They do a good job. And also the fathers, they do a great job too. You know what I'm saying? Even though we know people be trying, I mean, but it's all about understanding and communication. You That's know real. I mean? That's real. So what uh where they can reach you at, bro? Like I said, you can reach me uh uh my business uh Caldwell Cleaning Solution, 423-385-0923. That's for Jamaica. Dial that number right there on the bottom of the screen, y'all, y'all mess with them. So look, man, they why they why they call this why you think the city got the name Shooter Nuka? Oh, uh, it's a it's a different that. I mean, I don't know. With me knowing you, I see it as you saying Shooter Nuka because one, you're a filmmaker. You know what I'm saying? They, it's a different. I don't know how people look at it. People look at it probably like probably shooting a gun, a Nuka, yeah. So, but I don't look at it like that. How my perspective, perspective, my bad, <laughs> was uh. I look at you, you saying shoot a nuka, like you shooting something. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's what that that's mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And you showing the real about Chattanooga. I mean, you always been a little stand up guy, you know what I'm saying? So I uh, salute to you, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate that for real, man. So uh, you ever you ever uh, experienced any type of uh, any loss to like vi uh, gun violence in Chattanooga? Anything? Anybody close to you? Man, I mean, of course, man. We from Chattanooga, so of course we know people that know people. But uh, me personally, I mean, the probably the biggest loss, uh, I mean, besides my family members and stuff like that, but as far as like gun violence is my uh, my boy Trill and uh, my boy Terrence Edgerson, man. I mean, that was like one of the childhood friends. Like we came up together like since like second or third grade, Woodmo. You know what I mean? He was from Woodville and I was from Woodmo area. You know what I mean? So. That kind of hit me hard. How old was it when he got killed? When they got killed? Oh, uh, man, I was in prison, so this had to be like 08, 09. How'd that make you feel when you got that news? I ain't know how to feel, you know what I mean? It, it hurt me, cause I mean, I knew him personally, you know what I'm saying? And this dude was good dude. And I don't know what the reason was, you know what I'm saying? Cause of course Terrence, he, he was doing things, you know what I'm saying? And everybody, you know, everybody knew Terrence Edson, man. He wasn't no bad guy though, you know? Mm -hmm. But that was just my friend. So I know I, I know a lot of people out here got friends that they done lost that, that feel the same way. That's what's up, bro. So in the, in the, uh, in the, in the last words or something you want to give the people, man? Uh, any kind of motivation? Uh, man, what you want to leave with them? I don't think I want to leave with you, man. Love, peace, and happiness, man. And then, you know, it's, a, it's enough money out here for everybody. So, I mean, just love your people, man. We got to all stick together, man, and just try to kind of unite, especially the uh, the urban community. I love y'all, man. Peace. Hey, there's a little more films, man. Checking out, man. Jamaica Caldwell. A little more motherfucking films, nigga.